just want to do an update on what happened with my braces. Well, what happened is uh, one of my brackets came loose from one of the one of my teeth, and so um, I had to make an emergency appointment and go to the dentist to get uh, get my bra my bracket glued back onto the tooth. Now, when I went back, I thought that uh, that they were just gonna glue the one bracket back on my tooth, you know, and 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 fix that problem and let me go. Since I had just recently been there, like it wasn't even two weeks ago when I went back for my appointment. So what she did, instead of just uh, refastening the bracket, the one bracket that came off, she had the dental assistant uh, go ahead and and do uh, a complete treatment on me which is a, a tightening that they do every six weeks so uh, that's what he did he came over he brought me the the box of color bands and asked me which ones that you know which color i wanted to choose and and, and informed me that he was going to go ahead and, and replace the the wire and the bands on on the top and the bottom teeth along with replacing the bracket that came loose and i was like oh, okay well great because you know this it's always nice to get fresh clean bands and so uh the dentist came over she looked at my teeth and 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 also i had um um it was like a, a wire coil um uh, band a wire uh, thing that was across one of my teeth and she said that that was in order to create a uh, spacing so that she could get that tooth because that that's the main one on my bottom teeth that's out of line in order to create a space and get it to move back in line so anyway she she had that call on there but she said that my teeth were starting to move so it was time to move that that spring off and go ahead and apply the wire around the uh whole bottom the whole the whole bottom set of teeth instead of the cord on that one and the wire or whatever so you know that was great because it was you know only barely two weeks ago that i went to the dentist and, and got had my treatment so instead of me waiting for six weeks for her to move that she went ahead and moved it yesterday i mean not it wasn't yesterday it was a few days ago and i was happy about that so and and so they uh they did they you know he changed my wires and the bands and everything and that was great another thing i wanted to show y'all was um some things that i got to help me because uh, when when I go to the uh, dentist and I get uh, I get my braces uh, tightened, they they put a wire um, across the brackets and at, and when they put the wire in, they have to cut it on each side, you know, to fit, you know, your 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 teeth. So they use a tool like like this and they cut the bracket. I mean, they cut the wire so that it don't you know poke you in your in your inside of your cheek or your tongue and and so what what I did was because when I went to the dentist the when I first went and got my braces applied I realized that you know when I tell them even when I tell them okay I'm good because they'll ask you are you good you know is anything poking and you you do you the test you know and you be like mm, okay yeah no I'm good and so when you go home I come to realize even after I've gone home I went home and I told them I was good okay I'm not good because now I still feel poking or you no know, I um where well, I thought it was good, okay, now it's not good anymore. I don't know what happened. Maybe the wire grew. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm not good anymore. So I have to call them back, make an appointment, go back up there so they could cut the wire shorter. And then, you know, I've, I've done that, but then they won't cut the wire right away. I have to wait until I can go back, you know, and if it's like, uh, if I don't realize it until they're closed at night and then I have to wait till they're open like if it's Saturday night and they're not open till Monday then I gotta wait till Monday to call them and tell them and then they'll probably get you in you know pretty quick and they'll cut the wire for you but it's, it's just the point that you still have to make an appointment you have to go up there you have to wait and for them to do it so 
what I did was I decided to go online and I love Amazon so I went on Amazon and I researched um, a wire dental wire cutter for braces and this is what I found and this is a tool very similar to uh, what they use and but and I don't uh, but this is very good it cuts it it, it cuts easy it's no problem with it I ordered it off of um, I ordered it off of Amazon and it, I paid about I think about seventeen dollars for it. So I used I got this cause after I go to the dentist and I I even had to do it this week after I went uh, last week and he put my wires on and and, I, and they seemed to be good. When I got home it was still it it got to poking me and I luckily I had this because I ordered this like um. Um, a couple of treatments ago at least and so I got this and I was able to cut my wire down shorter and, and I'm I'm very comfortable I don't have to call them and make an appointment and go up there so this was very helpful and so when I was looking for this I was looking for this is because what they give you and recommend that you use they don't tell you the dentist won't tell you to go online and find this she she or he they will not tell you this because i've been going there for eight months almost and they have not once said go online and find a wire cutter a dental wire cutter for yourself and be able to help yourself they, they didn't recommend this so i'm letting you know that i figured this out because i like to help myself whenever whenever i have to and so you can do this too what they do is give you this or recommend that you go get this and this is um, a dental wax and so yeah this is some dental wax if you can see this it's little wax strips that you pinch off of you pinch a little piece off of it it's sticky you pinch a little piece off and you you know roll it in your hand and you stick it on the point the the part that's poking you your wire or your bracket and you cover it and um hopefully you know that'll help you but i'm gonna be honest with you i used it i mean it it, it like helped you for like a few minutes because um after it starts getting wet it's gonna slide out your mouth if you have to eat something you know it's not gonna stay on there it's gonna get mixed up in your food I'm telling you I, I, I used it because I, I need I, I couldn't eat because something was poking me something wasn't doing something that it was supposed to do with these braces and my mouth so I had to use this and, I, and when I got through eating I could not find this in my mouth so I kind of think this went down with my burger or whatever I ate, okay? So I don't really recommend this. Apparently it's not toxic because I'm still here, but I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to eat this, so, you know, whatever. They do sell this at Walmart, though, in, in the, dent, in the uh, dental section and uh, where you can get this. And this right here is, is something that I always had even before I got the braces. This is a oral care kit. It comes with these, um, uh, it comes with three little dental tools that you can use. It got the little dental mirror that you stick off and then you can look at the back of your teeth with this. And then you got uh, this one right here. I'm going to show you this one first. You got this one. Okay, well, let me let me let me show you this one first. This one right here. I love this one. Okay. Because I use this one I use. It's like a um it's like a toothpick type of thing. It's rubbery and it's pointed and soft on this end and this end is still plastic, but you know, I guess you can kind of use it to you know as a toothpick or whatever but this one is good because when you have braces anyone that has braces uh knows this and then if you plan on getting braces i want to let you know that when you're eating um stuff up when you're eating food and especially you know whatever you're eating it's gonna get stuck in between your wire and your teeth you know some of it is and, and it's it's a very bad feeling 
it, you know, it really made me so mad that I really wanted to get rid of my braces, like, you know, from the first day, because I don't think, you know, that I was ready for the feeling that I got when that food was stuck in between my braces. You know, it was just no, it was no. So anyway, but I discovered this right here that if I use this, you know, especially like, cause what the, the dentist recommend, they say that when you get through eating, every time you get through eating, and that's even if you don't have braces, you're supposed to floss and brush your teeth. Sometimes you could be somewhere where you're not in a position to brush or floss your teeth at that immediate moment. So this I found comes in very, very handy for me because I like to, I like to snack, I like to eat. And um, if I'm somewhere and I don't have uh, water handy where I can just immediately, you know, brush and, and floss or whatever I need to do right then, then, it, you know, I, I, I cannot eat anything, I cannot snack on anything because if I snack on something, then the food will be caught in between my braces and my teeth and, and you know, I don't think I need to explain any further about that situation, but that will, that's what would be the case. So, I like to snack. I don't want to have to eat at a scheduled time where, okay, well, I have to make sure I'm buying some water in the bathroom and my toothbrush and floss and all this stuff, or whatever, before I can eat breakfast. Okay, and then I got to do the same for lunch. You know, I got to make sure that, you know, the restroom and running water is close so I can make sure. And then even for dinner, you know, whatever. All, all that is fine because you're supposed to brush and floss after each meal. Anyway, I know this, but let's be honest. Sometimes we are somewhere and we are eating and we are not immediately brushing and flossing. Let's be honest. Don't lie. All right. So, in that case, I want to be able to still get the food out of my teeth and all this type of stuff out of in between my braces when I when I eat something on the spur of the moment. And so I found that this come in real handy because like with a with a, a toothpick, a toothpick is is not good because it's stiff is wood and it's stiff so um if you're trying to use toothpick you already got the wire you know right there and so all of that you know it's in the way of you being able to use a toothpick so you use this little thing right here a little rubbery thing with the tip on it then it, it moves around and so you can you know it has a point and you can you know get in between your, your brackets and you can move the food and you can clean your teeth very well with this okay if you're uh if you're just out and about make sure you have this with you otherwise you will not be able to eat anything on the spur of the moment okay make sure you have something like this with you otherwise if you're a snacker and you just like to be able to eat a snack or whatever you don't have something like this here you're not gonna be able to eat or you can eat or and then after you eat you gonna make sure you're not fixing to talk to nobody don't talk to nobody okay because you have you have food in your teeth now whatever you were eating is now in your teeth do not talk to anyone okay don't talk don't laugh don't don't do nothing but hurry up and get to running water in your toothbrush and floss and stuff like that there okay if you don't have this so this comes in very handy guys and so also in here we have this right here this and this right here it is a tartar scraper it's it's metal on the end and then this little long end right here i hope y'all can see this it's kind of like a picker i don't know it's skinny you can stick it between your teeth i think it's like a toothpick or whatever whatever so this comes in very handy and i'm gonna tell you about this um 
what happened when I first went to the dentist because I have clear acrylic braces. And um, when I first went to the dentist and I got the clear acrylic braces is because um, they are less noticeable and you know so I thought that's what I wanted you know and that's fine and but what they use on the clear acrylic braces are are clear bands so that you know you have the whole clear effect but after a few days of having the clear bands the uh, clear bands may start to change colors like you know turn to a, a, a brown a dirty brown color then now you have the brown bands around your clear, clear brackets and they're you know brown they were clear but now they're brown because they're dirty and that's not a good look and so I noticed that that's what happened after a few days of me having the clear bands and so when I called the dentist to tell them okay well my bands are, are, are turning dirty you know what do I do? I need that fixed. And they told me that, well, we can, we'll only change the bands when you come back for your next appointment in six weeks. <laughs> and I'm like, really? So for six weeks, I'm just going to be running around here with, with uh, these dirty brown bands on my pretty acrylic braces now. I mean, what does that look like? You know, so... I was disappointed about that, so I got to thinking, you know, okay time for self-help so I went online and I love Amazon so I went on Amazon and I googled uh, what I was looking for uh, actually was um, when I when I went on there I was actually looking for this and this was to cut my wires better cut my wire because my wire was poking it was on the weekend I had to wait for for them to come back into the office and and to me it's annoying you know I don't want to have to go back up to the dentist and wait because I didn't want to go to the first time so I don't want to go back that's not nothing that I just have to do that's not in my schedule it's not on my to-do list so I don't want to just be going up there for that I got other things to do so I was looking for this so that I could cut my own wire whenever it's poking me after I leave the dentist and while I was on on there looking for this they showed me other related items and so that's when I ran across these and what this is is i don't know if you can see it but this is a little uh these are bands and these are the clear ones and they all uh uh they put these around your brackets to hold the wire uh on the brackets or the wire that tightens that that changes the shape of your teeth okay the position of your teeth and i went online i found these and when i found these and that's when i I also saw this, so I'm not really sure which one I was looking for first, but I I found out that on Amazon, you can find sellers that actually sell this stuff. I was happy. I found these, and then uh, I found that they have the color kind. A lot of times, people get the color ones. They use these on uh, when they have the metal brackets. You know, and the, you'll find them have all different colors. So I saw them and I decided that if I want to change the colors on my own when I'm at home, that I, I would have my own colors. I, I got, I have pink and I have just different colors. I really haven't used them. I mainly use the pink. I haven't used these yet, you know, but I do have them. I, I did use the clear you know but mainly you know my uh my my bands they don't get too dirty in between visits it's mainly the clear ones that you know that they uh they kind of stain fast and um it depends if you know if you excuse me it depends if you drink coffee or 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 grape juice or tomato juice or wine or if you smoke cigarettes or probably stuff like that you know how fast they stain I guess so anyway um and so when I ordered that you know I ordered these so that I could help myself it came with this and this is a gun 
I, I think it was free. I think it came with one of these packages that I bought. I think it was a bonus. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But anyway, it's you're supposed to uh, take this and and these little things on it. The whole thing. You don't put the whole thing. This whole strip is in, individual little. I don't know if you can see it. Individual little um, bands that's attached. So these all come off. But anyway, you. With this gun right here, I guess you put it in here and then you open it up, supposedly. I don't know if y'all can see that. And, you know, you put that on your post beta, slip it around the bracket. But, you know, I really don't. This is very hard to use. It don't really work the way I want it to. So, I don't know if I've ever really, really gotten this to work. So what I have to use is this. That's where this comes in handy again. And this is the uh, one of the dental tools that came with this. And I just got this at Walmart. I already had this before I even got braces, but what I use is this. I just, you know, take this and, you know, loop it around, you know, my bracket and pull, you know, just pull it around. I just use this. Or whatever if I want to change it it's not real easy so that's the reason why I haven't used these you know I can do it but if I don't have to do it then I don't do it because like I say it's not just real easy to do and it's probably best once they the dentist put your uh, your your brackets your band your bands on and tighten up your braces, it's probably best not to even try to change it out because that could possibly loosen up your your uh, your wire or whatever, or change the position and that that she wants your wire to be in, you know, or something like that. So it's not I don't recommend that you do that. It's just I'm just letting you know that hey. If you get in a pinch and you have to, now as far as, you know, cutting the wire on the side, I don't see how that can hurt anything, you know, but changing your bands, you know, look, I did mine, I changed mine or whatever, and I, like I said, I don't know, I don't know that it, it will hurt anything, I don't really, I don't think it will, but I'm not a dentist, I'm just letting you know, you know, just in case, you know. It helps. So later on, I could feel the pressure and the pain from the uh, tightening that she did, and I think that's good. I'm always happy when I feel that, and that lets me know that um, the uh, the braces are working and pushing my teeth in the position that they need to be in. So I'm always happy for that, just in case I didn't say that. I want to let you know about that. I just took a, a couple of ibuprofen for a couple of days and I was good. So the doctor said that she could see the light at the end of the tunnel because it's kind of been, you know, a little process with me and her about, you know, the treatment and getting my teeth straight because she wanted to do stuff that, you know, I really didn't want her to do, but she's the dentist and I'm the patient. But, you know, she knows what I need in order to get my teeth straight. And I know what I need in order to just be comfortable. But I guess when you're trying to get your teeth to move around, you know, it's not going to be a, just a whole lot of comfort in that. So that's what I have to realize. That's what she told me that I need to realize. And so, you know, that's true. I have to realize it, you know. It's a little discomfort in, you know, trying to get yourself right. So just remember that, you know, if you want to be right, it's, you know, it's going to take a little work, you know, it ain't going to be easy. So if you want to get it right, just be prepared for that. Now, if you want to stay wrong, you know, that's easy. Lay back. Hey, do nothing. Feel no pain. No pain, no gain. But anyway, that's the end of my update on what happened with my emergency visit to the dentist. And um, I hope it was helpful to you. 
and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I just want to say um, thanks for watching. This is YouTube.